Number of the day, number of the day, which number will it be? Number of the day, look, it's the number 12. Can you find the number 12 on the number shapes? Can you see? So where the one is, that means one ten. There's one ten in twelve. And where you see the number two, that means two ones or two more. So it's a ten and two more. Can you see the ten and two? I bet you can. Here it is. Well done if you found that one. Shall we have a little look then at what else 12 is the same as? 12 is the same as 10 fingers and two more. Look, you might have to use your toes. 12 is the same as two sixes. Double six is 12. There's the number shapes and that makes 12. And there they are again. And that's how you write the word 12 in numbers. OK, so next up, there's the fewer. Can you think of any numbers that are fewer than 12? Hmm. Think of a number track and all the numbers that you would say before you get to 12. They are fewer. They are less. So I thought of the number, oh, the number three. I wonder if you recognise that number three from somewhere. And the other side says more. Can we think of a number that is more than 12? So if we've counted up to 12, when we keep going, all the numbers we say after 12 are more. So I thought of... Oh, wow, that's a lot. I think that is thousands of people. OK, so let's have a look at the numbers that come one more and one less than 12. So there's 12. And here's our number track. And remember, you can use the number track to help you find the numbers that are one more and one less than 12. So you find 12 and you do a jump down and you do a jump up. And that is the one less over here and one more. OK, so if I make the number track disappear, are you ready? What's one less? When you're counting to 12, what number do you say just before? Or if you have 12 cakes and you eat one, how many have you got then? 11. That's right. Well done. But maybe you've got 12 cakes and someone gives you another one. How many will you have then? You'll have 13. Well done. And look now, we made a little number track. 11, 12, 13. OK, so on our 10 frame we need to put our number of the day, which is 12. That's four. We don't need to count them because we know when it's full, that makes five. There's six and seven, eight, nine we don't need to count because we know that a 10 frame has 10 in when it's full. There we go. But we need more than that, so we need to use the next 10 frame. There we go. And do you remember with the number shapes, it was a 10 and a 2. Look, we've made it again. A 10 and a 2. This is the part part whole model. And the whole is our number of the day, which, wow, I made that go very fast, is the number 12. Now, remember, you can do this at home if you draw your own part whole model like this and then use counters um, or anything you've got that you can put in your hole at the top. The number is 12 today. So then you can move your uh, counters into the other 
parts into the other circles, the two parts, and they will give you numbers that add together to make 12. But when we do number of the day on here, we always put 10 as one part, and then that leaves two as the other. And when you look at this, this is really good for thinking about your adding and your taking away, because you can think 10 and 2 makes 12, or 2 add 10 makes 12, or start with the whole 12, take 10 of them away and you get 2, or start with 12 and take 2 of them away and you've got 10. Well done. <laughs>